Hi and good morning, it's Gene from Mavstar Observatory. In this video we're going to be talking about Earth health at a glance, looking at some of the things that have changed over the last week. Uh, and we've also got Kendall's uh, chart for his muons over in Canada. Well done Kendall for that, it's great. Um, so before we get into it, as usual, big thanks to those of you that are supporting us. Um, you know, it's important that we keep the observatory going, keeping people informed in this uh, climate where so much is being suppressed, freedom of information is going, you know, it's not a bad thing to support an observatory that is, you know, conducting science honestly. Having said that, let's have a look. So we've got um, Kendall's data here. He's doing a great job for us. He's recording the weather over the, the uh, muon counts as well. As you can see, the last count that he's um, submitted to us here is 815 per meter square per hour. Um, let's go and have a look at what's changed over the week with regards to Earth health at a glance. So here we are over at Pulse Shift News and here are the last week's uh, recordings of data. Uh, starting with CO2, 428 parts per million, that's down I believe around about 10 from last week. Uh, atmospheric oxygen, well we would expect it to be at 21 or round about that, that figure in the reservoir, massive atmosphere, sorry, massive uh, reservoir of atmosphere, making up almost 21%, uh, no changes there. Uh, we got the longitude and latitude of the last magnetic uh, pole position that was taken on the 17th of this month. Um, then we have the radiation background count, no changes there, again with the um, volcano, volcanoes in eruption, uh, 26, no changes there. Uh, we've got the largest magnitude earthquake over the last 24 hours, measuring 6.1 as you can see. Muons per square meter here in the UK at eight tw uh, sorry 529. In the in Canada, as you've already seen, 815. Sunspot numbers. Um, are the same as last time. One, uh, the geomagnetic field is quiet and solar x-rays are normal. Uh, jet streams are unstable as a result of more cosmic radiation in the upper atmosphere and the magnetosphere strength is at 50 microteslas. Um, I was going to just before I round off the video go over to North School and just give you a quick spin round the world over the northern and southern hemispheres so we can have a little look at um, uh, the jet streams and how they're behaving. So starting with an equatorial look at the Earth we can see straight away that there is different activity going on in the southern hemisphere of our planet as opposed to what's going on in the northern hemisphere. That's because we are at the in the northern hemisphere uh, just past the solstice which means the angle is leaning closer to this uh, to the Sun at this point in time of the year and the southern hemisphere is that little bit further away putting the southern hemisphere in the winter and the northern hemisphere in the summer. Um, but the situation has not changed with the jet streams. There is no um, significant noticeable uh, change with regards to polar jet streams and subtropical over the northern hemisphere. Both are interchanged and you know as a result uh, this is why we're getting these uh, weather anomalies that we're seeing you know, with droughts, floods, etc. Um, same story over the southern hemisphere. Broken jet streams, a lot more activity, intertwined uh, and mixing subtropical and polar jet streams again, but just a little bit more amplitude uh, with what's going on down there. We'll have a little look around the globe just before we uh, leave it there to give you an idea of what's going on. And there you go. So just to summarise, there's nothing really to be of overly con uh, concerned about. You know, all the CO2s we see down creeping up massively. Oxygen is fine. Um, yeah, okay, we've got a, ma a migrating magnetic north pole, which is affecting the jet streams. And that really is, uh, you know, the only thing we should be concerned about with regards to Earthquakes, tectonics and volcanoes, everything is normalised there, unless you, of course you have one in your back garden that's in eruptions, uh, you know, then you want to be concerned about it. But um, in general, 
everything is fine other than the jet streams modifying the weather slightly on the planet. Um, guys, if you got something out of the video and you want to go over to Pulse Shift News, have a look at the Earth Health at a glance, you'll see there's an old archive now uh, forming, as well as the TriMac data, magnetosphere data and other global uh, data that we collect from other um, magnetometers. Uh, big thanks to the superstars, big thanks to the patrons, and why not be one of those rare people that click that donate button on Paul Shift News because 10,000 people usually walk straight by it. Guys, if you want to help support us, link's down in the description, and the only other thing to say to you guys is have an amazing weekend. I'll catch up with you at some other point. Or as always, bye for now.